Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Hey guys, another video of our Pokemon Infinity Nuzlocke Let's Play. I hope you guys are excited for this one. I am jazzed up, dude. I've been having so much fun playing this game. I really have. Uh, it's such a joy when I get a fan-made game like this that I'm just super excited about. And this is this is one of them, man. This is one of them. We're gonna be kicking things off, so make sure you guys show some love. Hit that like button down below. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We're gonna continue on this route. And work our way to Genesis Forest, I think is where we're headed back again. And um, don't forget, of course, if you join adrivelive.com, free members get a uh, chance to win a Nintendo Switch and a copy of Legends Arceus. And last but not least, if you become a plus member, you get early access and it helps me out. So it's super appreciated. That is a very fast Doug Trio. And to watch Bird go fast. I don't know if I want to actually fight that Doug Trio. Uh, so I'm gonna explore this route. All that good stuff. I do have a question today for you guys. Uh, what is the most underrated Pokemon you used on a playthrough? Like, what is a Pokemon that you, you've used and you kind of didn't expect it to do a whole lot and then it ends up being insane? Uh, for me, the answer is Lamp or Lantern. I've had some incredible success over the years with Lantern on my teams. The thing is actually insane. I don't know why. It's just so bulky and it's just amazing. So, really, really dig that and that, that's my answer right there. But we have a lot of encounters, right? Like, I've been kind of saving my encounters up. I don't know if that's a good play. There's a lax incense. I don't know if that's a good play or a bad play or what, but I, I have so many encounters that I have not used yet. So there's a Thunderstone. That's kind of clutch too. So we'll have to figure out if I'm going to use them, when I'm going to use them, etc. But I've kind of, like I said, been stacking them up. So if I find anything cool, I'll let you guys know. But in my notes right here, because I have notes, I still have an encounter in Sea Ridge, Genesis Forest, Palkin Heights, Rolling Ridge, Rolling Trail, Safari, and I think this route too. Which I think is Amber Field. So, so many encounters. But I'll keep you guys posted. So, let's jump into it. Come and get some. All right, let's battle this guy to kick things off here. I am running a little bit of a weaker team right now. I have Hootsburg on the team. There's a, that's a regular old Chansey. Okay. Uh, I am running Hootsburg on the team. I'm also running Ripjaw, which uh, obviously has not evolved or anything. So, uh, I don't know how to evolve it. I'm hoping that it's going to evolve sooner than later. Um, but this is a chance. Do I have any physical moves? I don't. I switched into it thinking I had physical moves and I just don't. So I guess next is going to have to deal with this Chansey. Uh, I believe in Ribjaw. I kind of just ended up on the team just because, but I feel like it's a really solid Pokemon. But again, Hootsburg, I'm not, I'm not sure Hootsburg's going to stay. If I'm being honest, I, I just, Noctile is just not like a crazy good Pokemon, but I'll give him a chance for now just because I need a flyer. As I figure things out, Nala gets a nice level there. Hootsburg gets some levels, so we get to go. There's a Giraffe Rig, and I, I mean, I'm weak to Giraffe Rig, so that's a thing. Um, why don't I go? What level are you? You're level 34. Why don't I go into Ripjaw and see how that goes? Get Ripjaw. It's like kind of first action here, as a little baby, baby shell. Let's see how much this does. A lot more than I needed it to do. Okay, I don't know if I want to risk it. I feel like. It's kind of just not worth. Um, let's go into. Let's just let's just click the Zippo button then. You want to play this game, Giraffe Rig? I will play this game. I will go into Zippo. The Absolute Beast, which so funny that he had such a bad ability in Oblivious, and now it's Levitate. Oh my gosh, that's so incredible. Flinch. No, I got the flinch. Let's go. I mean, that's just insane, dude. This thing is a is a beast. I love it. Fire Dragon with Levitate. Not a lot of weaknesses. That's so good. Ripjaw to 32. And Hootsburg to 20. Hootsburg might evolve. And there's an Arcanine. Whoa! Okay. Um, I don't think Arcanine can do a whole lot. Ooh, extreme speed. Okay, can do that. We can take it. Um, tell me how Arcanine's very scary. Like, actually stupid scary. Um, but I think Nexus is fine. My team, like, I need to stop and train, I think, at some point. Like, I might have to stop and train before I do really a whole lot of new stuff uh, on this episode. I'm gonna probably go to the forest, but we, we're gonna have to figure out what six we're gonna rock, and then I gotta like legit stop, train for a bit, get the team all up to a good level, because this, uh, this is not super solid. Nightmare is not a good move. And does Hootsburg evolve? Hootsburg's evolving! Hootsburg! My man Hootsburg, we already seen his evolution. We got Hootsburg the evolution right now. What's good, Hootsburg? There you are, Professor Hootsburg is here. Ready to read you a novel. I'll start in foul play, that's actually not terrible. I'll give you foul play over Nightshade. Okay, Professor Hootsburg, I see you. Smartest Pokemon on the team, by the way, no doubt about it, loves to read. 
but only at nighttime. And uh, it's got Nightmare as well. Also, rumor has it Professor Hootsberg has never hit a successful hypnosis, in case you were wondering. So uh, I'm not giving you Nightmare, leave me alone. The air is dry, but my urge to battle is not. All right, so we're taking on a handful of these trainers. Fred, he's got three mons. Gonna kick things off with a Simi Seer. I feel like Loco's okay though. I'm just gonna hit him with a Water Pulse. Let's see how much this Flame Burst does. Like a, a sizable amount, but I feel like Water Pulse should do a lot. Yeah, it's a 2 KO. And I get the confusion. Loco, Ian, Quesadillas with Pico de Gallo playing no games and he's gonna hit himself at confusion. Let's go. I really need some better moves on Loco though. Like Mega Drain, Water Pulse ain't cutting it right now. I need Surf. Surf will actually be huge. Surf, Giga Drain will be good. Here's Simi Sage. I can Ice Punch you. I feel like Seed Bomb. Everyone's hitting me. No, Loco almost died. Bro, you can't be doing this to me. I need Loco. All right, listen, we're just going zip. I am playing games. Almost just lost Loco right there to this thing. He's gonna Seed Bomb me. I four times resist that. That, did a, that was a crit, okay. Actually almost just lost Loco. You can't be doing that to me, man. Loco, who else is gonna eat the quesadillas? My goodness, chicken quesadillas with jalapenos inside. That's my go-to. Anyway, Hootsburg gets a level and Simipur. I could stay in against this. I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse it. Let's see how much this does. I'm a giant dragon. He's gonna lick me. And he paralyzes me. That's a little frustrating. He's gonna lick me again, stop licking me, you weirdo. Simipur has straight weirdo energy. Am I, not, am I not right? I'm very right, I know I am, thank you. Rip shot at 33. Wants to learn Razor Shell. Let's get it. That's actually kind of a fire move. I don't know if his attack is better than his special attack, but I'm gonna give him Razor Shell. We'll figure it out later. We have hard skills. We might have one hard skill. Oh, this guy wants to give me an egg, but I don't have any room for eggs. I feel like the struggle is real. I kind of want the egg though. It's a Pokemon bred for fighting. I gotta get the egg. I gotta get it. I'm gonna fly back and I gotta clear a spot for it. I gotta take this egg. All right, he hooked me up with the egg. I'm flying back and I'm gonna grab my uh, flame body pony saw. We're just gonna hatch this right now. All right, let's see what it's gonna hatch into. I wonder if it's that Chansey that we saw in the last episode that sadly took the life of one of our friends. It's a Halucha! Okay, I was <laughs> not expecting Halucha, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I mean, that's cool. I'm gonna name you uh, Mysterio after my man Ray Mysterio. And I mean, Halucha's a good mon, don't get me wrong. What do you have? You have Mold Breaker, so not Unburdened, but good attack stat, which is good. Probably not gonna use this thing right now. Uh, so let me get the team back to where it was and we'll continue uh, on the trail. You really only need one good Pokemon. Uh, I'm a little nervous. What does that mean, Woody? And Woody's got a Pidgeot. Level 40 Pidgeot, all right. Well, I saw that he was a bird keeper, so I led with Nala. And he's gonna agility, that should be fine though. I feel like Nala should be okay. I mean, rivalry's a thing here, but we still two shot. And, oh, it's got a berry, just kidding. I probably don't two shot anymore, but like, what is this thing doing to me? It's a Pidgeot. Like, maybe Hyper Voice could hurt, or Hyper Beam. But even so, I oh dude, Nala snags every paralysis in between her naps. She is legit just hitting every paralysis known to man. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, we've kind of been put in a situation where Nala has to face off against, uh, you know, non-female Pokemon, right? Like we have to, but man, oh man, does she put in the work either way. Good stuff, Nala, way to go. I overheard some trainers talking about seeing a kid foot watching from atop a cliff edge. I'm sure they were just seeing things. Oh, I'm very intrigued about this kid foot Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie. And we're back in Genesis Forest. And I think we got a little bit of exploring to do here. This seems to be a different part of the forest. Um, so I guess I'll just destroy some bugs here, it looks like. And I still have my encounter in Genesis Forest, right? Like I saved it, so maybe we'll get something dope. Not a Roselia. Poison is bad. All right, let's see what this bug catcher's got for us. Bug fanatic Donna. Skalarva! Okay, how do I get that? Can I please have that? I want that very badly. It's super effective! That means it's dragon! Okay. Heracross, that's kind of scary. Um, I'm gonna dragon pulse. This could be really bad, actually. Heracross is scary. Brick break. Ooh, that does a lot. 
Um, did about 50. What is my answer to this thing though? Like, I don't have one. Is it a male? It's a male. I don't really have an answer to this thing. I don't think Nostril Flare KOs because of the weather. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse again. Brick Break again, okay, we're fine. Whew, that thing's scary. Heracross is very strong. Honestly, I'm, I I want that Skalarva thing because that looks amazing. I don't know if I can find him here. I'm gonna see if it shows in the Pokedex after this. Here's a Venomoth. Uh, what am I doing against Venomoth? Maybe Nexus? He could have Psychic moves. I really need to like actually train this team right now. Are you male or female? You're male. I really need to train this team right now because I'm kind of in a weird spot where like, I think I just chance Nexus and him not going for a Psychic move. My team, I need to have a full team of Pokemon that can fight right now. Oh, there's a side Beam. How much does this do? Too much, I get crit. Um, oh God, what is my answer to this? Uh, maybe Ripjaw and then, yeah, maybe Ripjaw. Side beam again. I think I have to heal up. Um, I mean, I could stay in and raise. I'm gonna razor shell and rain. Cause I actually should do a lot. Like, Venomoth's pretty frail on the physical side. That's a zero. Okay, I gotta heal. Um, let's max potion Zippo up. I really need to stop and train, guys. Like, I feel like I'm just walking into really, really bad stuff right now. Um, I kind of just feel like I'm asking for it. I don't know. I have to just stop and train. All right, let's get a big Razor Shell off. Let's get a crit here. I don't get it, okay. Um, let me go Nala to finish this thing off. Oh man. Side beam again, okay. I get confused, it's kind of annoying. Um, I will spark. Stop side me, please. Come on, Nala. Nala hits herself. Oh gosh. Okay. Um. All right. Well then, we're going. We're going back to Zippo. And we're not gonna get confused in the side beam, right? Really? That's what we're doing? All right, Zippo. You gotta hit a Dragon Pulse. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. Zippo. Fly in one day, baby. Finally got a chance to fly. Hootsburg wants to learn Ominous Wind, which is kind of cool, I guess. But like, how do you fit that on the team? I guess you get rid of Confusion. All right, what else you got? A Ninjask. I can deal with that. I have Nostril Flare. Oh, I'm confused. I'm not confused anymore. Let's go. This is Rain, so might not KO, yeah. Screech. Um, I should be okay. Although, if I hit myself in Confusion, it might be kind of bad. What's my other option? I don't really have one. We're not hitting ourselves. We're not hitting ourselves, let's go. Dude, that was a very hard battle. That was a very hard battle. Zippo's gonna be our first to 40 though. Wants to learn Slash. You gotta learn better stuff than Slash, bro. Ripjaw to 34, please evolve. I don't know how you evolve, but please evolve. He doesn't evolve. I gotta go heal, that, that was rough. Okay, here's Skalarva's area. So it's found here. I think. Okay, so I need to go into the area up north in Genesis Forest or, oh, I'm not even in Genesis Forest yet. Um, I don't know if this is the right area, but it, it looked like it was in the areas around this. Yeah, I need to go to the left or to the north. Either one, but I think those are the two areas I haven't been to yet. I think one of them was blocked by cut. So that is, that is my Genesis Forest encounter, like, I'm not even gonna think twice about it. I wanna go find that thing, and I'm gonna add it to my team if I do. TM98 Muddy Water, yo, that's massive. Wait a minute, that's so good. Muddy Water, we can use that. Yes, Loco can learn it. Okay, this is a big move. This is actually a really big move for Loco. Way better than Water Pulse. And obviously the accuracy drops are big. So the downside is like, I can't really use Loco here in this forest if I'm facing bug trainers, but other than that, Loco's huge. Okay, so I can't go that way. I'm forced to go north. There's another bug catcher. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's use Nexus here. Man, I really, I really need to stop and train. I feel like I gotta find this, this Skolarva thing and then I have to stop and train my team. All right, bug catcher Alex has a Butterfree. As long as I, like Heracross is really the issue. Like Nexus can take on most bug types pretty well. 
right? Like Silver Wind, that's not gonna do anything, right? It was, it was just, that was just a scary Pokemon because Heracross is so strong. Venomoth was like, meh. I think we'll be okay. Nexus can pretty much one-shot everything, so, and a Beautifly. Yeah, I could have a Flying move, but, or Mega Drain, I guess. Uh, but we should just be able to one-shot this like we, we like we do. So Nexus will be our second level 40. So that's really solid. But again, we need, we need to evolve. However Ripjaw evolves, I need it to evolve, like, stat. Whenever you want to do that, buddy. Okay, this is the next area of the forest. I have to get cut on a Pokemon, though. Um, because I don't have cut on anybody. Looks like Ripjaw is my option, which is really sad, but it'll have to do. We'll get rid of Metal Sound. Um, and we'll cut this tree down, and I think this is the area I need to be in to get Skullarva. So we're gonna look in the grass. We're gonna see if there's any trees. We're gonna look everywhere we can. Oh, this is not the area. This is not the area. I don't think. Oh, Celebi's back, though. Celebi! I wanna talk to you, Celebi. Oh, there's more trees over here. Maybe I go this way. Okay, this I think is the area where I can find Skalarva. It is, okay. So he's in the grass somewhere. He's either in the grass or he's in a tree or something. I need to find this thing. Bright powder, yo, that's clutch. Oh God, okay. I'm facing another bug fanatic here and they have another hair cross. I honestly don't know how I beat this thing. Is it a male or a female? It's a female this time, okay. I'm gonna go Nala. Oh man, this is a very scary Pokemon for me. Close combat, oh boy. Oh my god! What is that damage? Um, I am going to Hyper Potion Nala. How do you, how, what do I live with a, high, a close combat? I get crit on a Brick Break. What even lives a close combat right now on my team? I don't think anything does. I don't think a single thing lives. Brick break again. It says I can live another one. I think I have to chance this. I think I actually thunder wave it. I might just lose Mons to this. I can't lose Nala, dude. Maybe I thunder Fang and hope for the flinch. I might not be faster though. I'm thunder waving. Faint, okay, that's good. Thunder wave is the play here. Okay, it's paralyzed now. I'm gonna heal again. I have to just like kind of spam potions against this thing. If it close combats again, I just get destroyed, dude. It close combats again. Okay, Nal is living. He's got two defense drops. I have a tough decision to make here. I think the play I think I have to sack off Hootsburg and then go Zippo and then beat it with Zippo. Or go Nexus and beat it with Nexus, assuming Nexus can one-shot it. It's minus two, so it probably can. I think I gotta go Hootsburg and sack off Hootsburg here. I don't really know what else I can do. I mean, I can go Zippo, but I don't, I'm not convinced Zippo's switching in and like being able to deal with it. I could also go Loco and go for Muddy Water and hope Boko can live a hit. Oh, this is tough. The other play is, I can't lose Nala. I cannot lose Nala right now. I think the play is actually going Loco, maybe potentially losing Loco here. Do I, how do I justify sacking off Loco instead of Hootsburg? Like, I, I'm going Loco. Please don't close combat, please faint. Please go for faint. Oh, full para. I still die though if he if he goes for close combat. I'm gonna muddy water. I missed, I missed, I missed! Fully para, oh my god. Come on. I get I need an accuracy drop. Loco, please somehow. I missed a muddy water dude and it just cost me loco. <sighs> dude. This is getting really bad. This is getting re it's got faint. Oh, I got so scared. This is getting really bad, dude. I mean, if there's one thing, loco did get to go down while it was raining, but that's that's 
Loco is so big and it just learned Muddy Water too. I got nothing for Heracross, man. And this forest is just filled with Heracross. This is so bad, dude. Dust Ox. This is so bad. Ugh. Loco was like one of our first encounters, dude. All because it missed a muddy water, dude. If I had water pulse, I actually don't lose there. Because I hit two water pulses, bro. Like, that's real. That's real, dude. Like, if I legit have water pulse, we're fine there. That's, that's rough. That's rough, dude. Loco! Guys, I... I'm in shambles right now, I'm not even gonna lie. I found Reflect, that's kinda cool. A lot of Paris down there. A Shedinja! It's kinda cool. Wild Shedinja. I'm just gonna knock it out, but that's pretty dope. Take the XP. It's a sick mon. And TM84 Poison Jab is kind of a sick pickup, actually. All right, please don't have Heracross, dude. Please don't have Heracross. All these bug masters are just rocking Heracross right now, and I just have nothing for them. Parasect. Okay, that I can kind of deal with. I think Nexus just one-shots it. Just don't have Heracross. Just do not have Heracross, please. I am begging you. Do not have Heracross. Scolipede, I can deal with that. Steamroller, no flinch. No flinch. Nice. Okay. Whew. All right. I, I, I'm just biding my time, guys. I, I know I need to train. I know I need to stop and train, but I'm just hoping for something to change here. Ripjaw learns Leech Life. I'm just hoping something changes right now. This is looking like he's going to be physical. I'm going to get rid of Mirror Shot, I think. I need something to change. I need something to evolve. Still not evolving, Ripjaw. Yo, there it is! Oh, dude, I've been looking for a really long time. This thing has to be a 1% encounter. Skullarva is about to be mine. Okay, I gotta figure out how to catch this thing. Um, let's go into Ripjaw. And maybe if it's physical, we'll get Iron Barbs on it. It's got Dragon Tail. Okay. It's gonna take Iron Barbs, it's fine. I have to be so careful. Oh, it didn't switch me out, okay. I like don't wanna fail this. I might just start throwing Pokeballs at it, I'm gonna be honest. I do have two net balls, and I have Safari Balls as well. I'm gonna throw a Safari Ball because that would look sick. There's no way this actually catches it. No way. Ah, uh, okay. Bug Bite, this is fine. He's just taking Iron Barbs here. This is actually huge. Yo, I caught him in a Safari Ball, let's go! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Bug Dragon, despite its appearance, Scalarva is actually rather docile. It relies on sharp spikes and scales for protection, only using violence as a last resort. I'm so jazzed up about this. This is Markoth the Mighty. Oh, pressing extra buttons here. <laughs> Markoth the Mighty has gone to our PC. I need to get this thing out of our PC stat. I don't even know how to go back and get it, but I need to go back to a PC, and I need to add this thing to our team right now. Right now, I need to do it. A little bit of information about our friend here. This is the ruler of all bug Pokemon, all right? This forms the prophecy with our other dragon, Zippo. Yes, there is a prophecy between Zippo and Markov, and it is time for us to fulfill that prophecy right here in this series. Also hates balloons, because, you know, spikes pop the balloons. I don't know what to tell you. Let me go, uh, let me go figure out how I can heal up and grab Markov the Mighty. Also, a very sad goodbye to Loco, who's gonna eat quesadillas in heaven. But it opens up the opportunities for Markov. Sassy nature, compound eyes. Those are some stats. Good defense, good speed, good attack. Looks like it's a physical attacker. So sassy, not the best. Glare, bug attack, horn attack, dragon tail. I am so ready for you. Come to my team, my precious. All right, well, this is what uh, Swagnamite would have looked like if it ever got to evolve. I found a wild one, or a trainer with one. 
here in this forest. Uh, just battling some trainers as I finish up Genesis Forest here. Um, <laughs> trying to get some more levels, obviously. See what we can do to evolve some of our Pokemon and kind of just go from there. Nexus is big, big doing. Oh, Hootsburg picking up Air Slash. We take those. I gave him Pluck just to have better attacks while I was training. And a Manectric. Uh, I think I just Dragon Dance this. Or Dragon Pulse it. This should do good damage. Spark shouldn't do much to me unless I get paralyzed. Really? I shouldn't have said anything, man. I, well, the rain did stop in here finally now that I caught uh, Markov the Mighty, so that's the nice thing. At least Zippo's a little stronger. Nala snags a level and we should be good to go. I think that concludes Genesis Forest as Lucy's here. I was hoping you'd come through this way. Professor Wormer had another gift he wanted me to bring you. I've been trying to help him clear out his junk that he doesn't need anymore, but he wouldn't let me throw this out. The item finder. Nice. This game makes it easy, so I just picked up a pack of triple triad cards. It's a card game that people would get popular in the city, even though I've been playing it for years. Figured you'd like some free cards. Well, I'll see you around. All right. Well, thanks for the, the good chats. And here we are in Hayesport suburb, and right away, there's a trainer. You better watch where you're going. Okay, well, we'll have to figure out what's going on here in the suburbs. Beauty Kylie's got a Persian, level 40. Okay, that might be the sign that your boy needs to turn around. That, that might be the sign. That might be it. That might be the, hey, Dan, you need to turn around and need to train your team up before you do anything else. Because this is a level 40 Persian, and I got Pokemon that are not ready to deal with that. I mean, Nexus will be fine, right? Like, I'll one-shot it, no problem. I got a couple Pokemon over 40, but I also have a lot of Pokemon that are not there. Ripjaw's learning, Spite. No, that's not gonna do it. I got the Rita. Please don't have Shadow Tag, that would be really sad. Uh, let's go into... What level are you? 38, yeah, I'm not going into Hootsburg. I'll go into Nala. No Shadow Tag, okay, that's good news. And I'm gonna take a future sight. I may want to go into Hootsburg. We're gonna bite once and then I may be going to Hootsburg. That does good damage. Flatter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna switch out into Hootsburg here. Assuming I don't get hit with future sight. Yeah, let's just do that. Cause if it goes for a psychic move, Hootsburg can take it obviously. And I don't know if it's gonna like have anything else. Yeah, there's Psy Shock. So it actually works out really well. We take the future sight, doesn't do anything, and then we can knock this thing out with a foul play. Hootsburg's faster? Okay, Hootsburg. I see you, Professor, reading books. Smartest Pokemon on the team. Knew that the future sight wasn't gonna do anything. Very strategic. And here's a Wigglytuff. Yeah, I'm not staying in for that. Um, What is my Wigglytuff answer? I don't have one. It's a female, I presume. It's probably Nala clicking Spark. Yeah, probably Nala clicking Spark here. Play rough. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't switch into uh, one of the Pokemon weak to it. At least it's a Wigglytuff, right? Like, this is probably only gonna do like 30%. Oh, wow. I underestimated the robbery. Again, every time Nala throw down against another female, she just turns up. She's ready to go. She is just ready to go. We take those. Hootsburg to 34. Here's a Clefable. Oh my God. What is this fight right now? You just walk out of the forest and run into this. Oh my god, get Ragnala with another Spark Para too. And of course she's gonna minimize, trying to hacks me out. I see you with that. Nala missed. Nala. Nala, you're gonna take a Moonblast to the face here in a second if you don't hit this thing. You need to hit it right now. There it is, Nala, clutching up when she needs to. Let's get it. Very nice. All right, well we beat you. And Markov the Ma Mighty is already evolving. Hello. Hello, Markov. Please do. Please do. Look at it. Oh my God, Dragolus. That's a sick name. Wants to learn Scary Face. Now nah, I'm gonna pass on that. Oh, it, it's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not interested. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So this is the suburbs here, which seemed like a nice, nice place to walk around and explore. I found a root beer in his garbage. He didn't have anything to tell me though. The chance of catching a shiny Pokemon are super slim. I hear there's an item that can help increase your odds though. Ooh, tell me how to get one of those. Chill with an Ultra Ball in the garbage. Thank you for that. What do we got up here? I'm just exploring the town right now, the outskirts. Are you Donnie's friend? No. Speaking of shinies, is that a shiny Poochiena? It is a shiny Poochiena. Bro, I can't do anything with it though. That is a, definitely a shiny Poochiena. 
no doubt. But there is a metronome here, so the more times you hit an attack, uh, the more damage it does. Oh, another battle. Okay, I, I am not ready for battles right now. You have four Pokemon, a Skitty. I can deal with a Skitty, actually. Um, I guess we'll just Air Slash it. See how Hootsburg does here. Hootsburg does big things. Look at you go, Hootsburg. Smartest Pokemon in all the land here. Big Air Slash, good stuff. Thank you, Hootsburg. Nala to 42 wants to learn Crunch. That's a nice upgrade over Bite. We take those. And a Flareon. Uh, I mean, I have a, I have the Zippo button, right? So we'll just go Zippo here. Zippo should be fine. He's gonna scary face me, a little annoying. I do have Dragon Pulse, so let's go for that. Fire Spin should do zero damage. Four damage, four damage from the Pulse. Or from the Fire Spin, rather. Flareon is very bulky though, so that's gonna do like nothing. Wait, it consumed its Roat Berry? What does a Roat Berry even do? I have no idea, but I just keep taking Fire Spin damage and all of a sudden this Pokemon that normally can't do anything to me is actually like annoying. But I'll knock it out on this turn. So Flareon goes down, very nice. Hootsburg gets the 35, catch it up to the team. And a Delcaddy. I'm gonna send out Ripjaw here. Cause what's Delcaddy doing to Ripjaw? Attract. You can't fall in love with me. And I will go for Razor Shell. Sing, Are we straight dodging, Ripjaw dodging everything. That did zero. Tell me how he did, oh, double slap, I love it, look at this. This is so busted. I love it so much, oh my gosh, keep going. Never have I ever wanted double slap to hit five times. Never have I ever. Look at this. This is this is just amazing. If I can get a Rocky Helmet on Ripjaw, I feel like this thing will be dope, but I need it to evolve. Like, I don't know how to evolve it. I don't know what's gonna make it evolve. I need it to evolve. Fake out, that doesn't work, you're gone. I need this thing to evolve, like stat, because it's just, it's not really a Pokemon right now with its stats. And a Jolt, yeah, oh, we gotta switch. Um, I feel like I gotta go Zippo here against Jolteon. Jolteon's kind of scary. Pin Missile, we, we're fine. Uh, it does a decent amount. Hopefully it only hits three. All right, cool. Let's go for, let's Dragon Pull some. I'm faster. Yeah, Zippo's really fast. And maybe I'll go for, I don't know. I guess I just Dragon Pulse again. Dude, why is your pin missile so annoying? Stop it. Stop hitting me with pin missiles. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse again. We're gonna get a high damage roll and knock him out. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Level 44, learn a move, Dragon Claw, thank you! Thank you, Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, let's actually go. I'm going for it. How do you, how do you not take advantage of Dragon Dance? Like, I have to. Markov's trying to learn Hidden Power. I have no idea what that's gonna be, though. I mean, are you really using Horn Attack? I don't know. Ripjaw's evolving! It's time! What? Ripjaw, be good. Please, we need something very good right now. Ripjaw evolved into Skull Kraken? Once learned Metal Claw, why is that still not a good move though? Uh, I'm gonna pass on that. Hold up! Skull Kraken! Look at that, oh yo, he's bulky! He's got great defense, really good special defense, decent attack and special attack, great HP. Yo, this is our dude right here, our defensive monster. I'm actually very jazzed up about Ripjaw right now. I'm the daycare lady, oh nice. I'm the grandson of the daycare couple. I can use my super intricate algorithm to calculate the hidden stats. What are you? Oh, it shows not only your IVs, but your EVs. Oh wow, look at these bad EVs I have on everybody. Pretty cool though to see it. Oh, so you can change your natures with this person. So if I wanted to give one of my Pokemon a naive nature, which boosts speed and sacrifice of special defense, I could do that. So I'm not gonna do that right now, but I guess their nature might change every day or every other day or whatever, that's kind of cool. This pseudo is teasing me and it won't let me buy. 
It's kind of annoying. You've come to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> All right, let's see what you got. Little Timmy, youngster Tunker and his Electrike. All right, well, Nexus is uh, here to drop some rocks on your head. Goodbye. See you later, buddy. What could you possibly have, youngster? A Duosion. Yeah, I'm switching. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bust out the hoots, man. My man, my man Hootsburg. Gonna get pain split. I actually gained health from that. Thank you. I will foul play. Now, rumor has it Hootsburg has never hit a hypnosis. We may try here shortly. Well, I get endeavored to the face. This might tickle a little bit. It definitely tickled a little bit. Jeez. I should have uh, tried to hit that hypnosis, but that's all right. Hootsburg comes in clutch, picks up a dub there. You love to see it. What else you got for me? A Joltik. Yeah, we ain't staying in for that. Um, I guess I will bust out Zippo, who now has Dragon Dance Dragon Claw. You love to see it. Signal Beam. No confusion, please. Nice. I'm going to just Nostril Flare this thing. This guy's kind of bad. Goodbye, little Joltik. And what else you got for me? And a Snubble. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but I think I just honestly stay in here and just Nostril Flare it twice. I may not knock it out on the first try, but it should be easy. I get a crit. Take down. He might knock himself out here. Not quite. All right, then we just uh, finish him off with Bite, I guess. Not too shabby. We take those. Um, I think we're in good shape here. I'm going to just poke around this town a little bit more. Now that I'm in the wrong neighborhood, I saw a TM over here that I'm trying to get to. I don't know actually how to get over there, though. Oh, you got to go all the way around. Jeez, okay. And it's 18 Rain Dance. That would have been nice for our old friend. Hey, sorry if we're in the way. We're just going over the rules of hide and seek. Would you like to join us? The rules are simple. I'll stay here and keep track of everyone you find. There's only three other kids playing, so you obviously have to find three. It has to be in the neighborhood and it has to be outside. All right, I guess we're playing hide and seek. Ready or not, here comes A Drive. Um, all right, well, let's find these kids then, I guess. I found one kid. I found you. And I found another kid. And I found the third kid. That was, I actually walked by that one the first time. You win, you did it. Not that impressed or anything, they're pretty young, but you get a prize, so Corsola Cola. Don't drink it too fast, that's what my dad always says. You could also have this. The triple triad card for Gorochu. Thanks for playing, if you give me some time, I can round up more people who can play in the city again next time. Very nice. And I think we have arrived in a new location. I never got an encounter in the past place though. But I think we're going to wrap up here before I move into Hayesport. So show some love, guys. Hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We had some, some good times, some bad times. Ripjaw finally evolved. Hootsburg came onto its own. Markov the Mighty has been added to the team. But unfortunately, we say goodbye to our friend, Loco. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Infinity. Peace.